Hey, it's Magnus here, and today we are making this spinner right here. So I am in the new workshop today. This is the workshop where the water jet cutter is, where I cut such fancy spinners as this titanium tri spinner. Now what I'm going to do today is design, well it's already been designed, but redraw a kind of ref slightly modified version of this one. I cut this one and sort of ground it and showed it to you in the last sort of two or three videos. And as I mentioned before, there's, there's something about it, there's like an X factor, it's really good. I've, I've had a couple of tri spinners, sort of a couple of the top ones, and you know, they're okay, but actually one of them is okay, the other was just way too light, aluminium. Not a, an aluminium kind of guy. This is titanium. So what I'm going to do is, is just just shape it a little bit better, and you know, a couple of little things. Air compressor. Where was I? Uh, yeah, what I was going to do was um, sort of modify the shape a little bit, and you know, just get a bit a little bit better, a bit more refined. So I'm going to show you the drawing of that, and then the water jet cutting after that. So that's the drawing done. What I have here now is a nice shiny new sheet of titanium. It's not really new, it's, it's well used as you can see. Those are all spinner prototypes that I've, that I've cut out. Some of them you may recognize if you've been watching my previous videos. Not much of this sheet left. Now this is eight millimeter thick titanium, which is, I don't know what that is in inches, whatever it is in inches. I'm um, just going to put this in the machine now and get cutting really. Right, so there we go, we have it cut. It's very loud here, both because of the equipment here and stuff going on outside, so I think we will discuss this back at the old workshop. Okay, so, old workshop, where the grinder is. So we can make this beast nice and smooth. Now let's try and get some good light. There we go, nope. <laughs> there we go, that's a bit better. So, there it is there, very thin, you can see it's really thin around the core and sort of, um, you know, that's about one millimeter and up these legs here, that's, th that's one millimeter as well. The whole thing is very light. Now the core I'm going to put in is this one here, the one that's already in the sort of the old design. That is a brass core, so that'll add some weight to it. Um, I think you just need to sort of get grinding with it, really. So that is the ends and the corners ground. 
What I need to do now is grind in here, but I can't use the same one. I need to use this machine over here, which has a scotch bright wheel, and then I can just sort of do it horizontally rather than vertically. Once I've done that, I think on this one I'm going to... I think I'll bevel the corners a bit more, like maybe just experiment a little and maybe put some sort of corners on here or some sort of beveling. I'm not sure yet. I might, I might just leave it as it is, but we'll see how it goes. Right, so that has turned out really, really well. I'll show you some of the beveling. Look at that. It's got a certain, um, it's got a certain something to it. I don't know what it is, but it's got a, a bit of the X factor, I think. Hopefully that's coming through for you. What I need to do now is I think dremel out the inside a little bit. I, may, I generally make it a little bit too small because if I make it too big and I do all this work and the core doesn't fit in, it's, it's wasted. So, you know, that makes sense. So what I'll probably do is dremel out that. What I want to do for this one though, is I want to tumble it properly. I want to put it in the centrifugal tumbler, which is, give me a second, that big machine right there. So that, well, when I put it in that machine um, for a few hours, it will it will round the corners and sort of just, just make it nice. I mean, right now there's, there's edges on it and things like that. So we need that to, to break the edges, what's called break the edges so there's right angles on here and that will just give them a little bit of a radius uh, or curve in other words so I'm gonna have to call it a day at that this is gonna have to be part one and there will be a part two I will of course leave you with a quote it is by Charles Darwin and he said a man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life mm -hmm.